America is a nation built by pioneers, by explorers, by soldiers, by people who willed themselves rugged enough to go more, to do more, and to see more than their fathers. America is a nation that willed itself into existence, not by some coincidence or long development. These willful Americans said that America must be, and so she was. Most importantly, these Americans had the will to continue through struggle. They had the will to withstand through hardship. Without this will, America would never have been. In this way, America is a nation of will. She is a nation of courage, a nation that knew her path and did not care if others berated her or got in her way because she had a will not only to survive, but to strive for more than any other had ever accomplished. America's soul was her people and her dagger was her will. Today, however, America has grown weary. Her land settled, her oceans explored, her hardships seemingly overcome, and yet there grows a disease in the center of America. The soul of America has lost its will to fight and left America's carcass to be scavenged by this disease in Washington. America knows how to fight off foreign adversaries and even domestic revolts, but never before has America been torn apart forcefully by the people who say they are America. Our government is not America. America is itself. America, her people, her soul, her land, her body, her will, her dagger, blunted by this raging disease. An enemy not seen before. This disease is not communism. It is not fascism. It is not slavery. It is globalism. The globalists gnaw at the dagger of America because if the will is destroyed, there is no longer an America. All that will be left is a shell of what was once a nation. These globalists bring degeneracy and lies to our school and media, and conservatives have done everything but fight back. These last few decades have seen retreat after retreat, failure after failure to protect our traditions and values. Many have given up. They say it's too late, but it's not too late. It's our duty as Americans to battle on. The dagger, though dull and rusty, can be sharpened and restored to what it once was. We must reignite the fire within the nation, a fever that will destroy the disease. The disease may seem to be all encompassing in all corners of government, but there are still tens of millions of Americans who are willing to continue the fight. Our government is no longer by, for, or of the people, and therefore it cannot stand. The politicians in government care more about self-profiteering than their own constituents. You should not vote for democratic enemies, but you must also not vote for Republican traitors. We must make it clear to them that it is their job to represent us. Lower taxes are great, but what does it matter if America is gone? We must make it clear to them that it is their number one priority to put America first and the American people first. And if they can't do it, we will vote them out and replace them with people who will. This isn't just the duty of politicians or people who specialize in the political field. This is the duty of all patriotic Americans. The duty to preserve our nation is a matter of all. All patriots must be willing to make sacrifices as the great men who built this nation did. These globalist elites want you to be comfortable because when you are comfortable, you are more willing to submit. Be ready to be uncomfortable for the sake of America. For what does it matter if you live in a nice house when in a generation, your sons and daughters won't even be able to buy a house? They will be forced to rent and will be completely reliant upon the government. The American dream will die. All of us must fight for our country in one way or another. There is no more sitting on the sidelines. This isn't a partisan battle of policies anymore. This is a war for the fate of the future of our country. Don't be afraid to be canceled. Be proud. Be proud that you're fighting for America and her survival. And when the inevitable cancellation occurs, do not back down. 
Do not apologize. In a war, every battle matters. The more people see us stand up for what is right, the more they will join us. The people will become unstoppable. So go out, be proud of our country, be proud of our history, say what is right, and by all means, do not take one step back.